Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for those new here, hi, my name is Jenny. I am a family medicine physician and a mom of two. And so yesterday Moderna just came out with their vaccine trial results, which showed that the vaccine itself had 94% efficacy, which is amazing. And those numbers are like mind boggling and such a relief. And so I went to Instagram and asked you guys if you have any questions or concerns. This is not coming from a place of judgment. I am just curious. Being in a place of medicine, I know that I'm very privileged to have this information and it does give me a little bit more sense of security. And so I want to be able to share that with you guys. And disclaimer, I am getting paid zero to talk about this. No one is paying me, no big pharma, no government companies are paying me to say any of this. These are my thoughts. These are, this is the data that I'm presenting you. As a doctor, I'm not trying to tell you one way or another. I'm just trying to give you all the necessary information that you need to make a proper decision on what is best for you and your family. So if you guys already watched my stories on Instagram, this may be a little bit of repeat, but I just wanted to make this video so that it can be easily shareable with others um, who wanted this information. Okay, so the number one question and concern that I had was that these vaccine trials have gone too quickly as compared to other trials, and how do we know the long-term data of this? It's just too soon, and we're worried of possible side effects. I get it. I totally had the same feelings as you coming into this, but the more I read into it and the more I saw research, I became more confident. And so let me tell you why these vaccine trials, none of the safety or efficacy uh, checkpoints were skipped. Everything was performed in a way that other vaccines were performed to check for efficacy and safety. And the reason why it went so quickly is because it was prioritized and everyone in the world agreed that this vaccine was important, that hundreds of thousands of people were dying and so they needed to get this done so with as many bodies working on this with the proper funding and the proper resources the vaccine trials went faster um, my example that i gave on instagram was that amy coney barrett do you with it as you will but she became our judge in a matter of three weeks and how did that happen when usually it takes months um, is because the powers that be our president the majority of the senate the majority of the house decided that this is what they wanted um, and they decided that she will be that person so in three weeks she was our judge same with this vaccine. Everyone agreed that it is important in the world. So no one was fighting against it and they got proper funding. Secondly, how does the vaccine trials work and how long should they last? It just depends. So in phase three of this randomized controlled trial, half of the participants got placebo and the other half of the participants got a vaccine. And there's the two big ones, Pfizer and Moderna. Pfizer had like 40,000 participants and Moderna had 30,000 participants and literally split in half. Um, Moderna also came out with the data to show that they also tested in Hispanics, African-American and Asian communities about 37%, which is normal for the US community as well. And um, what they do is they just wait. <laughs> they just wait until the patients or the participants catch COVID or SARS-CoV-2. There's false information out there saying that these participants were willingly exposed to COVID and that is just not the case because one, it is unethical. Um, right now we don't have any FDA approved like medications for this and there's possible long-term side effects like lung damage, strokes, and things like that um, and possibly death. So very unethical to practice vaccine trials this way. So that was not done with this particular trial. Right now, as you guys know, coronavirus is rampant. It's everywhere. And so the participants caught coronavirus a lot faster than say if it wasn't widespread. So that's why phase three trials were completed so quickly because people caught COVID so quickly. So as for long-term data, I was nervous about this too. I said that, you know, 
maybe I'll get it after a couple people get it first to make sure they don't have any side effects totally reasonable to think that way. Um, it gave me some more reassurance when I found out that this technology, the mRNA vaccine, has been trialed before in influenza and Zika virus. And if you guys know, it has been over three years since the development and trials of these vaccines. And so these trials participants are still being followed to this day and they have not found any major side effects um, from vaccination. That gives me a lot more confidence because it's been three years and I'm not actually the per first person who will have long term, like they will follow for long term data. So if you guys were worried about that, please rest assured that there is some long term data. So that was the major question that everybody had. Uh, second concern is that it could somehow affect your genome or genetic makeup since it is RNA. Um, and RNA can sound really scary, but once you understand the science behind it, it's not really scary at all. So in your cells, in your body, there is DNA. That DNA makes RNA and that RNA is a message and your body mechanisms takes that message and then makes a protein. The only way that your body mechanisms work is from DNA to RNA to protein. It can't go backwards. And so an analogy I used uh, will help you understand this is that say you yourself is, are DNA, okay? And you transcribe, you draw out a car that you want made, okay? This blueprint of this car that you just drew out is your mRNA, okay? And you take this blueprint and you take it to a factory. And with that factory, you make the car out of the blueprint and your car is your protein. Okay, and you take the car and you drive it, you think you're badass, you're going super speed down the highway, right? Even though you're driving this car and you use the mRNA to make this car, you will not become a transformer, no matter how hard you try. Real quick, okay? <laughs> okay, mommy say this one last thing and then you can talk, okay? And the last thing I wanted to touch on is this comment like this where people say that the survival rate is around 94%. So why do they want to take a vaccine if the survival rate is that high? Um, and so several points I want to make. If you do math, there are 330 million people here in the US. 6% fatality rate means around 19 million people. Secondly, we only talk about mortality, which is death rate, but we don't talk about morbidity. So COVID-19 also causes a lot of morbidity, which means that it can have long-term side effects from getting COVID-19 itself. So like, if you get COVID-19, you can get irreversible lung damage. You can get a stroke and become paralyzed from one side of your body. You can have severe headaches for the rest of your life. You can have blood clots that re require you to be on a blood thinner for the rest of your life, which also has side effects. Um, so it's gonna impact significantly your daily living if you're unable to get up from your bed and walk to the bathroom without significant shortness of breath. And that's a, one of the things that people don't really consider. And thirdly about this point is that we don't tell young and healthy people to get this vaccine for themselves. I'm not saying that you're gonna possibly die from it, but it's because that we want you to get the vaccine to protect others. I say that I will do anything to protect my children, to protect Stan, my mother, my family, and those around me that are at higher risk. So I'm getting this vaccine for them, not necessarily for me. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please share with anyone who is hesitant about vaccines or just a little bit concerned so that you can give them this gift of knowledge and information. All right, that's all we have for today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace. <laughs>